Welcome to Moe's! At Moe's, our honestly awesome food is truly groundbreaking. Come in today for a burrito bowl freshly made just for you. Andy Hilton of Recruit 757 here at Lake Taylor where the Titans have pulled out a 28-9 win. Hank, you got to love what's on the scoreboard, but it doesn't look like you're happy with what was on the field. No, we, we made a lot of mistakes, and, you know, I kind of had an idea. We, uh, we, we practiced one day uh, because of the rain and, you know, the, the new rules now with the lightning, they won't even let you go outside. And we don't have but one gym and the volleyball team and the cheerleaders and all the basketball team, everybody's using that gym. So uh, don't know what to do sometimes. Uh, we've been able to get you the sportsplex some, but the other day it was beautiful outside, and we thought we could just go outside, but it started lightning, and uh, same way to go in. Well, the first three possessions, from my count, fumbled the ball away twice, fumbled it on the third possession, but got it back, managed to hold on to a narrow lead, 6-3. to What would you tell your guys at halftime? It was a real important game, you know, to be up very honest with you. Had a vision 16, I counted the 26 points we needed. And they got three wins, so that's 32 points we needed with a sense of urgency. Yeah, and you managed 28 tonight, second half. Came out of the locker room, first play from scrimmage. Right. 47-yard score, so it seemed like things were on the right track. Yes, yes. I mean, you know, we're going to make some mistakes, but, you know, we got to keep getting better on defense because offense is going to make some mistakes. That's the name of the game in football. Yeah, and like, as you said, a win's a win. Every win's a good win. We're starting into the second half of the season. Anything different about the second half as you approach the playoffs? No, everybody brings their A game. We have, a, a, I think it's 37, you know, game district streak. And those next five games are district Street games, and somebody wants to knock you off, you know. <laughs> you guys had them on the ropes a little bit, 6-3 to three at halftime. Early on, things were going your way. Right. We, we made some plays early on, and and it helped us move the ball a little bit. Um, and then we put them in some situations that, that we were able to, to create, you know, advantageous results for us. But, you know, later on, we, we kind of missed some opportunities we had. When you play them, they bring relentless pressure. They're, they're good at it, they're fast, they're strong. So when you get those opportunities, you know, you have to take advantage of them. And we missed some opportunities that we did not take advantage of, particularly in the passing game, because that's where they're the most vulnerable, because they just bring so many numbers to the ball that, you know, if you're not overwhelming them with strength and size, then it's just kind of, it's, it's difficult to create running lanes. But, um, but, you know, we just missed some opportunities. Well, it looked like their offensive scheme in the first half was to run the ball right at you. They didn't go for the edge very often. They weren't very successful running up the middle because they only had one touchdown. Yet in the second half, they went for the edges, got the edges on several occasions, busted some open runs. Right. Do you feel like they wore you down, or was it just more successful getting to the edge? Uh, well, uh, I don't know. I don't know his number. I think his number is four. You know, I saw him on his fans. So, um, you know, once he gets to the edge, it's kind of like a foot race. And then, you know, in the foot race, either you're, you're either the fast guy or you aren't. Um, and and they kind of ran off tackle a little bit, and they popped them. So when they had, when they were able to pop them, you know, they finished them. So that's how they got some a couple of those touchdowns. You know, once the guy got second level, they went on to finish the play. And that's what I'm talking about taking a taking advantage of your opportunities when they're there. And you know, they were able to do that in the second half in the running game. And then they kind of wore on us because they got some big boys. On. Now, Coach, you're six eight teams. So that means it's a very competitive race to the playoffs. We're halfway through the season. You're in good position. What can you say about the back half of the season and getting to a playoff bid that's been elusive for you guys the last bunch of years? Well, in six eight is real simple. You got to win. You know, there's, no, you know, there's no other way in. I remember, you know, the year we went nine and one. You know, we could have finished eight and two that year and not made the playoffs. You know, so it's, you just got to win and, and you just got to take. You know, we got to take the game next week, and we just got to win that game, you know, because what happens in November is really not that important right now because everything we do up until that point will determine what we get to do in November. So we just got to win the next game and stay focused on the next game um, and not, you know, not, not allow this game to, to beat us down too much and understand that, you know, it's all part of the growth process. You know, we weren't. You know, we didn't expect this, you know, this stuff to happen overnight. So we just got to keep playing, win the next game. And that's what it really is all about. I know that's kind of cliche is, but it really is about that because it's, it's all about the next game.
Well, Coach, you, you've uh, done well the first half. Good luck the second half Thank of the you. season. Right. Look forward to seeing more of the Granby Comets. Definitely. Appreciate it.